When last we gathered, there were quite a few things that took place. And because of the nature of today's session, there will be no summary. What? So, as a recap for the players, they, uh, happen to come across some old faces. They don't look all that similar, though. And our resident mage is currently screaming and shouting at the top of her lungs at the sight before her. With the party substantially worse for wear, how are we going to proceed with the current situation that we're in? Oh man. He oh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay, so we got three familiar faces abominations uh i would definitely love to destroy them but i'm in no condition for battle right now neither am i well uh, harry doesn't know like really who the other two are uh unless she knew of uh the, the, the i don't remember no. her character's name yes uh, she was nice, so Perry's kind of just gonna wait and look at the party and see what they're doing. Uh, can we chug potions at this moment? Uh, you sure can. I'm not gonna say no. Okay. So Henry is going to chug a bunch of potions, getting ready for battle. Uh, of what grade and how many? Okay. I'm going to use. What do I have? This? Or you do that, I'm just gonna cast heal on myself. Okay, I need my MP back, so I'm gonna use a Mega Ether. Alrighty. I'll use, I'll use two of them. Okay. Then, so I can cast at least a cure on myself. Here we go. Your spell. Need my health back. So how much did Mega Ether heal? Uh... If I remember right, I believe I said there were like 350 MP a shot. Okay. Um. Concentration. Gotta get myself prepped. Mana charge. Is this a prep phase before battle phase, or this is just a continu a continuation of the old battle that we were in? Uh, you are currently in battle mode. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep, because this opened up with them getting the first strike, but as per my rules, the party always goes first when the battle officially starts. <clears throat> In that case, fuck these guys. And keep in mind, uh, Drava will not be doing anything due to her almost going Super Saiyan. In fear. Alright. 
Do you edit uh, your recordings at all, by the way? Yep. Like you can cut things out? Yep. Can you tell me, out not recorded, <laughs> off the record, which character belongs to who? Uh, Mel belonged to Poker, Ice mm -hmm. belonged to Yuki, and Lion belonged to Kenny. Oh, uh, wait, which one was Kenny's? Vincent Ripoff. This, this motherfucker guy. over here. Oh, the emo looking one? Alright, I know who I'm yeah, going right to after. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that one. <laughs> Okay, this dude was so... hella fucking creepy to me. I'm fucking up his character, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I somehow knew you were going to target him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, resume. <laughs> uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, since I got the highest speed, I'll go first. I'm gonna cure myself. Maybe three times. <laughs> I'm just gonna cap myself out. Okay. So. Yashua doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what he got hit with. He's just in a lot of pain right now. So prioritizing healing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did not go through. Mm. I can yes. tell you just by looking that, yeah, you healed yourself. Max. Yeah, I know. That was 60 MP reduction. So that should be 1191. No, no, 1091 to. Alright. So, I'm going to take a peek outside. Okay. And right before I could say, uh, it wasn't a bomb, I'm going to spot these three here. Okay. And that happens. Oh, they're in my shining ward. Hee <laughs> hee. First strike, sort of. Uh... Yasha eyes just widens. Okay. He's like, uh, not in shock, but surprised. Uh, the adversaries before you seemingly pay you no attention with the exception that the malice that is emanating from the body seems to be radiating specifically towards you as long as you are looking at them oh do i have to fucking raw charisma save here nope all right rick can you take this one Uh, first I, first I want to check on Drava because we're going to need all hands on deck. I would be careful on that one. Oh, yeah. This guy here used to be a wild rose, so he's going to hit hard. That's why I'm asking you to take him. I'll take Mel. Okay. Uh, you have... But you did... One, two, three, he was actually moving. Look, he got one action left. One action left, but I I move from here. Does that cause an action? Because he said if I move a short range, it, won't, it wouldn't cause an action. Unless I move bigger ranges. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
My bad. Yeah, that was in the within the range of not consuming action for movement. My bad. All right. Yeah. It's all cool. All right. So at this point, Yasha looks at Mel, ignores this fucker for obvious reasons, and looks at Ice and just says to himself, like, what have they done to you? All right, I'm going to move to Draba. Because uh, she needs some... She needs some support. Okay. Now, before you do that, I, I want you to know... Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to have to navigate through the three of them. Um, and you're going to need a pretty sick, nasty roll to get from where you are to her and get through them at the same time. Alright. Let's all right. Let's pull these twenties. Do this. I swear what do I need to, to roll? I am going to request that you give me a give me a wisdom and an athletics roll. Alright. Wisdom and athletics. If you get a one on this, oh my gosh. God damn, why I roll a one? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Riku rolled a one. Alright. Uh, so, with the wisdom roll, you manage to perceive a as safe as possible route to take. And then, because I rolled a one against your athletics roll, you leap from where you are because with the disintegration and the summoning attack that happened, you spot an opening in the corridor of where you are, and you leap through that and land right next to Draper. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. Yep. All right, cool. Now, for clarity's sake, I will let you know that Andreva is experiencing a special status effect called fear. It is currently, as I've stated earlier, so bad that she is unwilling to fight. Damn. Uh, I don't think Isona could help that. Nope. You can roll either persuasion or you can roll persuasion. Or you can roll, I'll say, Arcana. So which one do you want me to roll both? You can roll one of the two, or one of your options. Well, I have a higher charm than intellect. Oof, almost. Okay, let me see here. All right. Uh, what is it that you are going to say to her? So, I grab her by both of her shoulders and shake her a little bit. Not too violently, but like enough to get her attention. And I tell her to get a grip. You, you, knew, you knew that we were eventually going to encounter former comrades like this. She just wasn't mentally prepared for it. And in response, she's going to say, That's not a former comrade. That's my mother. Who? What? Mother? 
Shanti. Uh, 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 she she points in the direction of Mel and she says she's right there. She shouldn't be here. She should be dead. Uh, Perry's uh, Perry's gonna speak up really fast and ask, "Who sees Mel?" Or rather, <clears throat> uh, who 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 sees who sees Mel? Your mother. But that's. Yasha, like, looks over again. In utter confusion. I mean, I, I see Mel. Does, does everyone else, does everyone else see Mel? Alright, whatever. Be that as it may, you have to steal yourself for this. Help me bury these people. They don't deserve to be like this. She is going to frantically stammer over her own words and shakily hold her staff close to her body. Your, your words rang through, but this round she will not be taking any combat actions. Uh, Henry or Perry, either of you can go next. Uh, it's up to you. Because after fine. this round, uh, normal speed calculations will determine turn order. Uh, without thought, Perry's definitely gonna run straight for this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you and... have enough strength to toss him further closer to me too? <laughs> Probably not. That is not my strong suit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just attack. Uh, yeah. Do all the shit. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just gonna warp strike him. Alright, let me bring up my calculator. Perry is totally attacking him for lore reasons and no other reason. <laughs> lore reasons. <laughs> lore. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's someone from her past. I. Who knows, you know? I, hmm. Do they have any possessions on them to be stolen? Oh, true, true. Uh, this as... one key one that we're looking for. Just in case they do, I'll go ahead and roll it. If they don't, then ignore it. Yeah, take his lunch money. Yes. Uh, as for possessions, the rarest item that he could have possibly had is being carried by one of your three teammates. Don't look at me. Another question. Is Perry seeing the same three people that they're seeing other than Drava? So, uh, Joshua and Henry, they see Lion, Ice, and Mel. Mm -hmm. You see Mel and Ice, even though you've never met Ice, but Lion looks to be a completely different person to you. Okay, I knew it. Okay. And as for Drava, she sees Ice and Lion, but for some inexplicable reason, mm -hmm. when she looks at what should be Mel, she instead sees her mother. Okay, well I have them figured out then. Uh, in that case... I'll send you a DM. <laughs> okay. And as for the damage you dealt with your attacking phase, you did 2,081 damage. And as for what you have stolen, uh, he has no guild to steal. Uh, you stole a, a ring off him, but it looks pretty decrepit and almost broken so to say mm -hmm. and for your uh ro fifth roll steal you steal the cloak off of his very body uh sorry what were the first uh before the broken ring and the cloak uh there was no he has no guild to steal yeah yeah 
and you right. took the ring off of him and his cloak, and so he is okay. currently completely armorless. I sent you a DM very quickly on something. <laughs> okay. Show DM, Perry. Oh no. Yeah, that's yeah. the same. Yeah, that's that is, uh, I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I'm sending him lore stuff very quickly though. Mm -hmm. oh, I copy that. Uh, Henry, you may now act. Okay. So did my three other actions earlier go through? Uh, they the went cure. through, but I'm not going to count them against you as battle actions. Okay. Since I'm good on everything, I want to separate these three goonies. Uh, and I want to get Mel far away from Dreva. Okay. Okay. Keep in mind, you all still do have a hostage in massive air quotes. Yeah, that's why I don't want a toaster. <laughs> I do want to get them away. I thought so too. Mm -hmm. I thought so too, Perry. Oh, um, Perry, add another two hundred to your limit break energy. Almost, oh, yeah, almost I forgot even, to tell you that. I didn't even think about it. I was busy messaging you. <laughs> I'm so Wait. close. So my caliber, if I stab somebody and release it, what happens? Find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and find out. I love it. It says it has a different effect when I let go. So... <laughs> okay, let's do this. Go ahead and rush over to Mel. Okay. I did my character. <laughs> Went insider. <laughs> I did. So I'm going to, while running past, slam her with the sword so she goes flying towards over this direction. Um, I know I'm going to have to roll a strength. Yes, sir. I have low strength, so... What matters is that you tried. Exactly. Uh... So let's say that... She doesn't move, but... Your effort... Is not entirely wasted. So, do you have the Khaled Bold attack set up in your attack sheets? Uh, I remember the attack value for it. Uh, so just click it in your sheet, and then I'll uh, type out what you need to roll. That's what I got. That's the uh, attack calculation for it. You're gonna have to set that up after that fight. So, 
as you type that out, uh, when you struck your enemy with the cursed blade, instead of them just being hit and shrugging it off, you hear something genuinely accursed. And I'm going to ask you, once you're done, to roll a wisdom. Wisdom save or just wisdom? Just wisdom. Nice. Alright. So, you strike them, and the and you clue into the fact that the voices you hear are indeed spirits. And the spirits that you heard shrieked in abominable pain. And the direction came from those that you struck. Only you heard them, though. Oh, God. And the damage that you dealt with that comes out to what's your current health? My current health is full at the moment because I healed. Uh, uh, currently 1,134. Alright. And your attack? My attack total? Yeah. Is... Six, uh, 18. Oh no, it's 48. 48. I was about to say 18. That's, that's 18 with the test armor on the 40. Okay. So it should be 66. And you hit Lion and Mel with that, right? Or just Mel? No, I'm trying to get her knocked back a little bit away from Drava. Okay. It didn't work. <laughs> That's all fine and dandy. Uh, do please subtract 300 HP from you, <clears throat> from yourself. And then... So after Mel is struck by that, a few seconds <clears throat> after the effects takes place, she turns her attention to you specifically and looks at the blade in your hand. I'm assuming it's still in your hand, right? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. Okay. It's still touching her. Oh, got it, I got it. So You know what I'm going to do. <laughs> she looks at the weapon and the hellish determination on her face falters for a moment as when her expression changes for a very quick almost unnoticeable second it looks like she experienced fear and as such she will attempt to move away from said weapon but finds herself henry. unable to henry releases his hand <laughs> So you're letting go and dropping the sword to the ground? No, just leaving it touching her. I want to see what happens with the touch. Oh, okay. Because it says when it's left alone, it starts doing things. So I want to see if it reacts with her body. Oh, uh, okay. Well, as a result of doing that, the violent outburst of energy from the sword happens once again but it is strangely specifically aimed at Mel since it is in contact with her body uh, as a result you can very slowly begin to see and this again this is visible only to you mm -hmm. you can see the aura of death begin to surround and encompass what used to be Mel at her feet. Mm. And because of this, 
she is unable to physically move to a different location, but she can still attack. And for her attacking rolls, she is going to do... Ouch. Uh oh. Okay. Are those physical attacks or? The first one is magical, the last two are physical. something wrong give me one second okay so this damage roll because of the crit comes out to 840 minus my defense yep 306 so 840 so that's five. Five thirty-four. Minus your twelve percent AC, that comes down to four hundred and seventy-two. 372? Yep. Eight. Eight. So I have 360 left. Alright. As for the next enemy before you all, Lion is going to make a very concerning groaning noise before bouncing all over the place like a chicken with its head cut off. And so, uh, Perry, Henry, and your hostage have all been struck by this attack. Oh god. But, because Perry has a Nifty little barrier around her. She is taking no HP damage. Nice. But the barrier is still getting hurt, though. Uh, let me subtract that from the hostage. So I did how much damage on the target? Nine hundred and fifty-one. Yep. And I do, I get 10% of that, right? Yep. And as for ice, or what used to be ice, he is going to just look at the situation before him. He is going to take a single step forward, extend his arms outward, blade in hand, and spin around like a saw blade. Bruh. Uh, and because this is an... Oh yeah, I gotta move his token. One, two... He has a pretty long fucking sword, so... Yep, uh, you two, or rather everyone, 
close to him is taking let me add this up damage roll comes out to 891 ah. yeah because in the AOE uh, subtract your defense and your speed from that I gotta bring out the calculator <laughs> what exactly was it? An AoE spinning melee attack. What was the total? Uh, 891. God damn. Henry, did you kick the bucket? I think so. <laughs> oh no, like actually? Yep. Oh god. By literally 60. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm it's not enough not seven. enough to kill you, but it is enough to down you. Let's say that for uh, action's sake, you got hit by that and you defended against it as best as you could, but it was just a little bit too much. You were knocked back about five feet, and I suppose for your down animation, uh, how do you want to describe that? Because I was just going to go with a generic, oh, you're kneeling down holding your head. I would be kneeling down holding my head, because now Diablo is going to go rampant. <laughs> <laughs> and I expected him to get knocked backwards all the way back here, and just, you know, him with the uh, thing, stars, and birds spinning around his head. I'm KO'd. The Cursed Sword is on the floor on its own now. So... <laughs> oh, gosh. And they all rush to the focal point of it. So what's gonna happen now? Well, that same aura of death, <clears throat> which again, only you can see, is now encompassing the three of them. And the aura around it is getting stronger and stronger. And just before you lost consciousness, it looked like they were slowly being absorbed into the blade, but they were none the wiser. So I'm gonna take a nice dirt nap. <laughs> and while you do that, I'm going to ask you for a wisdom save. Oh no. Okay. Wow, in death, I'm better at rolling. <laughs> <clears throat> if Diablos takes over your body, I'm going to have to put you down. That's a 19, by the way, and I don't get that on normal rolls. <laughs> but when I'm out cold, I get a 19. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, well, well. Looks like you got into some shit, huh? You hear him say that, but you don't respond. I'm just snoring. <laughs> but he knows that I could hear him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm my best to hold my laughter right now. This is a whole Kurama type situation here. Uh, it is now Yashua's turn again. Okay, since I have an idea what's going on, player-wise, uh, yeah. can I say this? Actually, no, I don't think uh, Yashua knows what's going on yet. You can't see the sword absorbing them. No, 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 not that. Because Yashua's thinking, how can Mel, what he sees, be Dreva's mother, and then... 
I want to roll like a perception or intelligence to figure out is this an illusion? That would be a combination of perception and intelligence. Or or perception and arcana. Whichever one you want to do. Yes, I don't need that arcana roll, do I? No, but... Yes, but... God damn it. You in these 20s, bro. Woo-wee. Ah. Uh, why not? For roleplay purposes. Okay. Just for insult to injury, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> so... Uh, you... Take the small amount of time that you do have to focus in on Mel as hard as you can and the longer you focus the more you begin to see that you can see straight through her and she is not entirely whole and then you look at the others and you come to realize that they too are of the same composure. And with your intelligence roll, you pick up on the fact that whoever conjured these or set this up in advance did something to be able to configure these illusions to look the way that they do. Yashua takes in this information and has a, a small sigh of relief. But then he tells Dreva that that these aren't exactly people, but they're illusions. Someone or something conjured them to make them look like our, uh, either our worst nightmares or our more dearly loved friends or family. Drava, you're saying that to Drava, right? Yeah. Okay. In response, she is going to say, well, that's good to know because, well, not to make a long make a short explanation long um my mother was the last person that i saw before i came or rather before i was whisked away to this dimension and i absolutely despised her because of how much she tormented me and when I saw that thing over there I suppose all of my repressed feelings unexpectedly came to the forefront but with this knowledge in mind she begins packing a unreasonable amount of energy into her staff to the point where the crystal is glowing so bright it might as well be a flare. Whew. All right, you have four actions left. All right. As much as I would like you to go ballistic with your magic, we have to proceed carefully here because we still don't know what they're capable of. I say this to Dreva. Mm-hmm. 
She hears you, but she does not respond. Nah. Verbally, anyway. Alright. One action. Three actions. Alright. I'm gonna go straight into PvP mode here. I'm gonna grab this guy and 1v1 him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna grab him and just throw him over here since he's the most dangerous one, at least in my opinion. Alright. After tossing him against the wall there, I'm gonna, you know, face off him. You know, face off over there in the corner. So, strength roll, athletics. Yep. Uh, does my sword do anything to Yashua? Uh, as long as he does not physically touch it, he'll be okay. Okay. But his Can shining sword, sword does. by the way. Wait, one at a time. Say that again. If his, if his shining sword touches the curse object, does it react? It changes a different color for a very brief second, but aside from that, nothing. He asked if he could pick it up. Oh, you want to pick it up? No, I didn't ask if I, <laughs> I could pick it up. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> There's no goddamn way I'm going to touch that fucking... Better yet, better yet, can I destroy it by shooting at it? Uh, No, you cannot. It's an artifact. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky I can't destroy it, because if I could, I will instantly destroy it. We can't have that. Kick it into Mel. All right, strength and athletics, was it? All right. Uh, you pass, so you chucked him like it was a rag doll all the way to the other side of the area. Mm hmm So I'm going to be fighting this guy over here. Uh, let's see. Scanning was one turn, moving was another, throwing was another. Okay. We got surprise attack, so we're still at four turns or we're at five? No, you were at five from the jump. Okay. So I'm going to face off this guy, but just in case... I'm going to see what I'm dealing with here. Something I'm surprised that Henry didn't do at the beginning. If you remember, your communicator is not fixed. That's, that's not the point. Point is, you should already have enough battlefield experience. I'm using Libra on Wannabe Ice, and my last turn I'm going to use Libra again on Mel slash Dravo's mom. Okay. And as a result of that, I will do this. Uh, where is he? I'll put it this way. You just say use an ice and uh, Mel? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's not the one I want to hit. Okay, there's that. And. Oh, you're giving me access to your step page? Cool. Yep, since it was already, you know, in. Yeah, but I, I could only see bio and info. Hang on. Rule 20 is uh, tripping again. Edit. What if Roll 20 purposely trips for you to buy a premium? <laughs> I already did. That's the funny part. Oh, no. Can you see the rest of the stuff now? 
Uh, let me see. Nope. Do I have to refresh the page to do that? No. I need to uh, give you the rest of the permissions. Uh, you should be able to now once I hit this button. There we go. All right. I got to refresh roll 20 on my side because ISIS uh, sheet broke. So, you know, that's fun. Jesus Christ, she had so much more attack than me. Yep, that she did. Okay, now you should be able to see Isis Sheep. Wild Rose. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that HP. Remember when I said I was going to 1v1 him? I don't want to do that anymore. Not too bad. You made your yeah. choice. Stick with it. <laughs> uh, uh, rewind, please? Nope. No wonder Fuck. I got wrecked. okay i'll fuck him up all right one way or another it is now dreyfus turn and due to her let's say overcharging her weapon she is going to start uh throwing out fire spells left and right due to her newfound anger and all those shots will be going toward uh, Mel's direction. I hope those are not AOE because... No, they're not. Doesn't matter, I'm dead. Well, KO. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're KO'd, but you could still, you know, die, die if someone hits your body. Uh, if you were to get hit... Well, at this point. Uh, if you were to get hit by anything that would go over 20% of his max HP... He'd be fucking dead. But. He's okay. Because he's not being cast as AoE. And. I'll, I'll, I'll save my. I'll save the comment I was about to say. Don't worry about it. Trust me. You don't want me to die. Diablo will have full control. <laughs> this this battle will go turn something different. <laughs> don't worry. I, I... You're, you're worried about the wild rose over there? <laughs> Yo, he's kind of right, though. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a contingency plan in case this fu fucker dies. Oh, mm, gosh. What, run away like a little bitch? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Don't worry I'll, about it. I'll make sure Diablo chases you to the end of the world. Damn. Uh, no. Don't worry, I I will make sure that I'll be able to fuck up Diablo. Don't worry. Remember, Yasha is your best pal. He wants to keep you alive. Yeah, he didn't waste his turn resing me. <laughs> I can't res you, though. Yeah, he's too far away for that. When he rushed in, he could have. <laughs> We're tossing the guy. I'm trying to prevent you from dying permanently. You threw the wild rose and left Mel right next to me. Well, don't worry. Dravo's got Mel. Yeah, plus... Unless, unless Mel decides to step on your neck, then there's nothing I could do. Uh, Mel cannot physically move her feet. She's bound. And Dravo's attack rolls come out to 2160. Oh. Holy shit, you rolled two fucking 20s. Wait, when I cast Cure, do I get anything from a limit break again? Uh, I believe it was 5%. Okay, so that's 30. Oh, that's a good yeah. question on this game. One, two, three. Yeah, I haven't been adding up those. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, he healing is 5% of total. What you did. And speaking of... That's 15% for me, then. 
speaking of lemon break, Andreva is, I believe, one more turn away from that. Well, if our attacks go well. But regardless, it is now Perry's turn. All right. Um, so he hasn't been revived at all. Nobody's attempted. Uh, no, nah, Henry is still currently KO'd. <gasps> uh, can I try to get him up then somehow? Uh, I can answer that question with Or is a... it like he has to roll for it? So, the answer that I should say is no, you can't pick him up because you're missing something. But the answer oh. I want to say is don't worry about it. You can. There are other methods that do not require items. I'm not going to tell you. But... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, Perry is gonna throw her flask to him. You know, he's knocked out, so he probably can't even catch it. <laughs> but, you know, she feels bad that there's not much she can do for him. So she's gonna throw a little something something, you know, help him. Just lands on its time. head. <laughs> yeah, pretty Bonk. much. <laughs> Knocks him back out. <laughs> he got the back. <laughs> so she's just gonna kind of throw her flask and continue uh, attacking this motherfucker. Okay, so you threw your... Was there anything in it? My flask? Mm hmm Alcohol. <laughs> okay. That's all I need to know. Um, and I'm just gonna keep fucking warp striking and hope that I build up my limit break. Okay. I think that was five. I'm also very weak. I'm probably gonna fucking die as well, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Does Drava heal? She has heals, right? Yeah, she can. But she was so pissed off that she for forewent that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, baby, next turn I go go lemon break. <laughs> In that case, uh, Perry's also gonna kind of, uh, she's teleporting around attacking this guy. She's gonna kind of look over at Drava when she can and just scream at her. Uh, help! Please. <laughs> uh, so your damage roll comes out to 2,582. Nice. And as nice. for break energy, you are gaining 258. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that is enough to go crazy. It is. I have 1,043. All right. Oh, next turn, you can pop. <gasps> Excuse me, you can pop Ooh. off. Uh, okay, next turn. The three of us should pop off. Well, Henry just takes the dirt out. <laughs> now, I was for Henry. Oh, God. <laughs> I will present you with one of three options. You can... Uh, roll a wisdom save or in your state of unconsciousness you can roll a 1d10 as a willpower save to try and pick yourself up or you can roll a death save I think the safest object, like, option of that is the uh, 1d10. Okay. Willpower? Yeah. I think it's this. Ooh. Okay. This guy wants to live. <laughs> So, you struggle where you are kneeling, head pains and all, and you dig deep with all your might to not let your efforts up to this point become wasted, and you stand back to your feet with 
half an HP point. Wait one sec, I have to go on my character sheet and one half Like 0 0.5 on it. And you also unconsciously uh, reclaim Kalidbolg and you grip it very, very tightly. So you are, and I and I mean this with all intents and purposes, barely conscious, but also managing to stand to your feet. I will ask you, is, is there any one action that you wish to perform that is not healing by traditional yeah. means? <laughs> by traditional means. Should have a potion. Know that. You do have my flask. <laughs> it's a potion of some sort. Do True. I want to know what's in the flask? <laughs> drink I and find out. Specify. <laughs> I drink the the random flask. <laughs> All right. I did not think you'd actually drink it. So you pick up the flask. And you don't notice it, but, and we'll say that since Perry is in your line of sight and she is in yours, you pick up the flask, Henry, and Perry, you see it change from silver to black to purple and then back to silver. I'm you, just gonna kind of blink. <laughs> Henry, you take a sip of this flask. And you feel a very, very strong pulsation in your chest. You then drop this flask. And you stagger backwards just a bit. Your breathing becomes strained. Your eyesight becomes fuzzy yet again. And... You find yourself unable to stand properly without using Kalidbolg to support you. And then, you hear a voice speak out to you. <laughs> so, you are, uh, you're in a really bad shape here. And I think it's time for me to stop laughing at you and instead finally give you some form of a helping hand. I will not hear any objections. I don't care. This is all for my entertainment. Oh, fuck. The sword that is in your hand changes color from a black with a gold trim to purple with a blue trim. And you feel overwhelmingly invigorated by it. But you also hear a voice laughing at you all the same. And as such, I will ask you, Henry, to roll a 1D 100. Is he the only one who hears all of that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And as for the rest of you, you can see a 
very, very dark purple swirling of smoke around him. And you can't tell whether or not if it's Diablos or if it's something else entirely coming out of him. Is it too late to quick save? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. He's <clears throat> probably though. He's you are twenty nine. Okay. I want to roll a one. <laughs> you well. I'm gonna hold that comment, but. <laughs> After hearing all of what you heard, you find yourself raising the sword above your head, and you hear a, a sinister type of laughing, not necessarily at you, but at the surrounding situation, as lightning begins to crackle and burst forth from your newfound weapon, and everyone hears a very painful but also very loud shattering sound of glass and uh you don't know if the beams of energy coming out the sword are friendly or not so i would say you should roll acrobatics to try and duck under it who myself uh, everybody but you. <laughs> oh, gotcha. oh, fuck, did this guy just summon a legion of demons? <laughs> Alright. That would be cool. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone dodges the lightning. And the beams of energy, they shoot out all over the place, they leave burn marks. They break the very ground that you're standing on. The other surrounding technology is breaking. But that glass breaking sound, sound continues as if it's on repeat. It is not stopping. And about a minute of that taking place, there is one final explosion of energy that encompasses this entire area and once that happens the illusions in front of you are gone but at the same time the area around you looks as if someone let off an airstrike at it and a significant amount of time has also passed And as such, this battle has ended. But, while the battle has ended, the violent display of energy coming from Henry and his sword has not stopped. Perry's gonna pull out her second flask and try to drink it and just wonder why hers isn't doing the same thing. <laughs> Is Henry still conscious? Is he being possessed right now? What the fuck's going on? Oh, he's conscious. It's just that the sword is acting on its own will. And Henry is, at the moment, physically too weak to stop it himself. Jokes on you guys. I'm the final one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 in you that case, well... You about the wild part? No, uh, it's me. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, okay, say less. I could kill you now, then. Uh, Perry's just gonna kind of call out to Henry and, uh, are, are, are you okay? Mm. Henry just grunts. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Thought I'd I'm ask. gonna make, attempt to make my way over without getting, you know, Deep fried. Uh, please roll a 1d10. Oh, one, okay. Well, 
What was it again? Slash R one D ten. Slash R. I am not gonna make my way over there. <laughs> yeah, you're you're getting zapped, buddy. Can I roll for the zap? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I will tank the hits. Uh. Henry, type one D fourteen plus. 175. Plus 175? Yep. So it's roll 1d14 plus 175. Yep. It should just go through like that. Okay. We shall see. Okay. So I'm getting zapped, but I'm still making my way over, right? Yeah. So as you're making your way towards him... You get hit dead center in the chest as it pierces your shining ward, but you shrug it off and keep moving. Friendship is power! <laughs> oh. oh, you didn't use the phrase from last night, huh? I don't remember the phrase. Should, should, we, should we take the sword from him? Don't touch the sword! Uh, should we, should we, should we, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. That's, that. that's the amount of damage I take? Yeah. <laughs> Does it ignore my defense since it's, I don't know, a cursed lightning shot? It did ignore your defense. Alright, cool. I know of a way to hold on to the weapon without taking damage. Though I'll have to see if I have enough limit break energy to do it. Okay. Oh wait, I think I also have something I can do. Hold on, I took 178. Fuck, my phone's not working. Uh, Subtract 178 from uh, 1804, 1702. Okay. Okay, from that is what? How much limit break energy do we take from taking damage? Uh, you receive 10% of that damage you took rounded down. 10% of... Yeah, so from that you get 17 points. 17.5? Oh, no, j just 17 points. Oh, uh, just 17 points? All right. Forgot we get limit break. So from my death, I got 100. <laughs> well, you don't get any if you're dead. <laughs> Oh, thank God it's enough to go a thousand. Oh my God. Well, I hit you exactly enough for that. Well, uh, I just needed 12 points. Yajra just shrugs it off and looks at the sword and looks at Henry. And in a panic, Yashua asked, the hell did you do? Henry just grunts again. Uh, I will say, he, he, he drank something. I mean, I, I gave him alcohol. I don't know. I'm not quite sure that's what he drank. Is that almost infectious now? Okay. Uh, Dreva is going to speak up and say, I appreciate that we're trying to figure out what's going on, but maybe we should stop this because, um, well, our surroundings aside, this is a pretty immediate threat to us. Yeah, and potentially working on the it. City. 
as after she says that, she is trying to fiddle with her communicator, but is getting no results. Uh. So, Yasha puts both of his hands on the sword. Oh, God. But you see him, you see, like, you see him, but then you see, like, a mirage of his Eidolon form, like, flickering in and out, in and out, because, like, he's trying to forcefully transform while holding onto the sword. Okay. Can I knock him back? Ah, <laughs> uh, for locking him back, I'm going to say no. Oh, but now that you've said that, <clears throat> I need you to continually roll Constitution until you reach 300 points. Wait, why? Why are you trying to make this harder on us, Henry? <laughs> That's for not healing me. <laughs> this party's gonna be the death of me. Oh my god, Literally. there's gonna be like 50 rolls, dude. And while Henry rolls Constitution, Yashua, you are going to roll Constitution saves until you hit 200 points. One, one, one. Uh, yeah, go one at a time. Constitution, you say? Mm-hmm. Saves. Okay. My turn for a constitution. Nope. And the reason I had you... Well, I'm having a... Yashua roll constitution saves is because that 178 uh, he is going to continually take percentages of that until uh, something happens constitution save rick come on get it perfect so uh yashua for the first roll you are losing 40 hp and then for the second roll you are losing 44 HP. Okay. Hold the phone. This is too much to calculate. Give me one second. Alright. Take your time. I gotta have my page open. Alright. I'm just gonna do the health calculations on my calculator just gonna leave it alone on the page for now okay so you said how much the first two uh 39 and 44 no 40 and 44 all right i'm at 16 18 okay uh, you need to roll another constitution save. I don't know why you're not letting me go burst mode. <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't. I never said that. Ah. Save your limit break. Save me. I roll low anyways. Screw it. I'm not taking any more damage. No! I'm going... Don't do it. <laughs> I'm going full idle on. There's no way I'm taking more damage because of this stupidness. Can I slap him? <laughs> No, you can't slap him during that. <laughs> uh, while that is taking place, uh, Perry, you notice that Dreva is, uh, at this point, screaming into her communicator, trying to get a response from someone. Is there anything you wish to do that you think would help her? Uh, Perry is not good in these situations at all. <laughs> so she's she's just gonna walk over to Drava and just 
try to calm her down a little bit, maybe. She can't, she, there's nothing she can really do to help her here. Okay. Uh, for that, please roll Charisma. It's about to be a fucking one. Oh! Nice. Nice. It's really high. <laughs> uh, so you... D did you want to, like, say something to her yourself, or did you just want a basic description? Uh, she'll walk over and kind of, like, grab the communicator from her for just a moment and tell her, Calm down. Screaming's not going to help anyone. And then she'll talk into the communicator herself for just a second and say, Hello, anyone there? And then let go of it. Just wait for someone to respond. Okay. Uh, because of your role, and based off the way you described it, when you take the communicator from her, you... Before you even can say hello, you hear a gasp from the other side and that gasp is coming from it's coming from Cynthia and you hear her say oh thank Gaia we finally made contact with you again where are you what's happening and w there's there's a lot that happened please we need something from you uh, does this thingy do hickey? Does it send locations? Yes. Where, 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 where? She just keeps repeating where. Uh, well, I mean, we're inside some kind of facility. Uh, I don't know if you know, like, the secret passage or anything to get here. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. We took the secret passage, came out into a room, fighting. I don't know how to send the, I don't know how to send anything on this. Drava, 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 send the location. I don't, I don't know how to do this. You so can just look at the wall that says Sector 5. Sector five. It's sector five. I don't know where that is, though. And in response, she says, "You guys are still in sector five. We thought uh, you were taken somewhere. Do you know how long it's been? Uh, I, an hour, maybe, perhaps. Try a week. Oh no. Oh fuck! Time dilation again." A week? What? No, no, it's, I'm, it's been like an hour. I'm pretty sure, right? What? A week? Look at your tombstone. She'll pull it out really fast and just go, huh. Stay where you are. We're coming to you. I don't know how long we can really. Uh, I mean, we'll stay. I mean, uh, okay, be quick. Uh, things are happening. And after that, communication is cut. Harry will just hand it back to Drava. Hey, Perry has never seen an Eidolon, did she? Uh, <laughs> no. Boy. For you. Uh, here it is. I'm just gonna. Oops, that's the wrong thing. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. There we go. Gracias. So, yeah, I turn into that in my burst mode. What in the Transformers? <laughs> I kick him into the pit. <laughs> yeah, um. I'm 10 feet tall and weigh a metric ton. Good luck with that. All right. Uh, please continue with the rolling. Wait for his constitution save. Yeah. All right. I don't take damage anymore. Happy noises. One turn. <laughs> it just turns off after one fall. Save. Nah. Okay, I am now going to ask the both of you 
to roll a wisdom save. Okay. Okay. So as you continue your efforts to remove the source of all this chaos coming from Henry, the both of you now hear a voice. Hey, 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 hey. Who is this other guy? And why is he getting in my way? I hear a voice. Who the hell? Last I Head checked. Of... Is that Diablos? Uh, Henry, you, you can respond normally since this is an internal thing. He's just there like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, last I checked. There was only one person in this strange vessel that I will soon be claiming for myself. You want to explain who this other guy is? And uh, you want to also explain what's going on with the sword? Because the sword, this isn't my fault. And I know, I know that I'm this big bad demon guy or whatever, but... We don't lie often, and most importantly, not in situations like this. So the Thor, the sword thing, not my fault. Henry walks over to Diablo and just hands him the flask. I think you need this. <laughs> what are you giving Diablo's me? Diablo's there, or is he still inside you? <laughs> Whole thing. They give it like karma's. Oh, I get you. <laughs> I think you need this. What the hell is this? Take a step. <laughs> you fuck with me or something? Oh! <coughs> 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 Yashua says, it's jet fuel, bitch. <laughs> what kind of disgusting mortal concoction is this? It's rum. Henry takes the... the Blast back and start drinking. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Chris. So, uh, just want to let you know, Vessel, and yes, I know your name, but I'm not going to call you by your name. Uh, you've got about, I want to say, four days left, but given this crazy shit that's going on, you are very quickly running out of time. Because this clock right here, that's how much time you got left before my process is done. Don't you worry. If, if you manage to take over Henry's body, I'll personally make sure to get rid of you. Can I roll intimidation when I say that? Yes. Probably gonna be a weak ass roll. Nope! Oh my nice. god! <laughs> Whoa, okay. <coughs> Don't fuck around, bro. Alright, so. Power of friendship. You say that. And before I continue speaking, uh, the scene that Drava and Perry see, the light that is coming off of Yashua is slowly beginning to mix with the virulent and chaotic energy coming off of Henry. And as for Diablo's response to your intimidation though, <clears throat> well, 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 look at Mr. Big Shot here. Uh, so about this whole possession thing, Listen, I don't know what the other mortals told you, but the only thing that is true is, yeah, I like chaos. 
Chaos is fun. I'm actually his brother, but that's a discussion for another day. Uh, as for the whole... Wait, 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 wait. What? No. <laughs> no Chaos. <laughs> anyway, Vessel, it's not your turn to speak. Back to you, Mr... Eidolon, that's what you call yourself? Anyway, don't care. About the whole... Oh. I take over things and destroy worlds and planets and enslave everything. I don't do that. People will often get me and my brother confused. I can be bad, given the vessel that I inhabit, because you know, blah blah blah, soul mixing, if, if this guy right here was a piece of shit. Henry's Things would be bad. Henry's just drawing circles on the floor again. He doesn't <laughs> want to talk to me. <laughs> but your friend here isn't a piece of shit. He's a little crazy, a little fucking weird, but he's not a piece of shit. Now, if he had been possessed by my brother, um, you wouldn't be standing right now. Henry says, how can I get possessed by chaos? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Vessel, you don't want that to happen. He'd be nicer than you. <laughs> I'm not going to entertain that comment. Anyway, so, did you already tell me why you're here? Because I might have forgotten already. Trying to fix your dumb mistakes. And I say, looking at Henry and... Diablos. Henry, Henry just starts to cry in the corner. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Jeez, I cannot imagine all the paperwork I have to do after all this crap is over. Is, uh. Is your friend always this. emotionally wishy washy? Is he talking to me asking that question? Yes. Always. Anyway. Henry, Henry thinks of a plan. He goes up to Diablo. Diablo? What? Can we make a pact? You and I? Um. Define that? Because the moment you got cursed by me, that was kind of already in effect. No, not that kind of pack, where I could use some of your strength, and you get to enjoy the world a little bit more. I'm listening. Like, I call upon you, you give me strength, and we make things burn. <laughs> Starts laughing with Diablo too. <laughs> Yasha rolls his eyes. Is he only laughing in his head, or is he like yeah, laughing out loud head. too? Just in my head with Diablo and Yasha. No. no, you're just standing there like suddenly evilly laughing to yourself. No, that would be funny too. Uh, On the outside, I'm laughing. <laughs> actually, I was gonna say that. Uh, physically outside, Henry is audibly laughing. Very oh, sinister-like. Perry's just gonna look at Drava and just look back at them. Her eyebrows are just kind of raised. <clears throat> so, I hear you. And I like this idea. And instead of playing uh, circle around the altar, I'm just gonna ask you this one time and one time only do you want my help or not keep in mind that this includes that you will now have two people inhabiting you and if i feel like fucking with you i will henry sits down he's like thinking like a way out of this would you get rid of the timer on taking over my body, though. What? Oh, that? <laughs> so, uh, 
funny story. It's not necessarily me taking you over. It's, say, a unity of two people. So we become one. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Is it like the Pyra and Mithra thing from Xenoblade? Because I'll be cool as hell if he could, like, switch between. Uh, yes. But the vibe I was going for was, have you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. Oh, oh like that hell year. yeah. Dude, yeah. let's go. Uh, Rico, read DM real quick. Yeah, I saw. You're good. Okay. All right. Yep, that was, uh... So I'll, I'll, get... I'll discuss mm. that later. <clears throat> so Henry says, I won't throw any weird body parts, will I? No, why the fuck would you do that? I don't give uh... you extra body parts. Look, look at me. I got two arms, two legs, a tail, horns, devil wings, and demon teeth, yellow eyes. But that's not besides the point. I was expecting horns. Yeshua speaks out. And horns are boring. So, Yasha just touches his horns on his head. <laughs> so when that timer goes out, we become one. But will you take over my body and just do what you want with it? Uh. Yes and no. Like, when I say fuck with you, the most that I'd probably do to you, uh, I don't know, make you have an arm spasm for no reason. Make me slap myself in the face. I wasn't going to, but now I might. <laughs> so you're a good person to say, right? In a manner of speaking, yes. Yeah. Reminder. And you don't lie, you said. You just enjoy the fun of it. Not the words I would use. More like, it seems that this demon is just bored out of his mind. Henry looks at Yasha. Shh. Wouldn't you be bored if you were unreasonably sealed away for hundreds of years at a time because people keep getting you confused with your brother? Uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Henry says, so can we defeat Chaos? Would you like that? I would love nothing more than to see that ugly bastard put in the dirt. But, um, I think you have a more immediate threat to deal with given what's been happening so far. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not the sword. Uh, the other problem that you've been dealing with since you got here. Nah, that's not a big problem. <laughs> if you say so. As Yasha's glaring behind. I'm just glaring daggers at him. Like, you see, like, red glowing eyes piercing through the visor. Oh, I will be right back real quick. Okay, he's gone. What should we do about Diablo? <laughs> Fuck it, just fuse it with him. That's what I'm trying to do, but I, I don't. I, I want a non compete pact with him where he doesn't just take over my body whenever he fucking wants. Okay, and then he just simply. My loved one. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, then simply just, you know, tell him that uh, during during non-combat operations, he could, like, fucking, I don't know, you know, take over momentarily, you know, no, explore the great. city. You gotta take turns. You, you gotta give him some freedom. I wanna have a split character. That would be cool. So what, like a symbiote? You know, like yeah, Venom? Yeah, yes, like Venom. <laughs> Where yeah, I do that then. <laughs> Your burst mode, you momentarily turn into Diablos and give them off, off freedom. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Okay. We have, we we have we, 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 we have, we have concluded an answer for you. <clears throat> okay. Oh, out, out of character. 
this is just normal chat. Can we have a symbiotic relationship like Venom? Where he could just come on and use his abilities while on my body? Uh, With his chaos energy? So as far as his unique abilities, you will not be able to do that at the moment. Moment, but just packed wise, I want to know for character wise. Oh, I yeah, tell Diablo, hey, we share the body, you can come on when I call you and live your life with through me and with me. That type of situation, yeah, and we can do it right now, pack, not wait this silly four days. Take hands with them. I want a nine-tailed fox relationship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to find out more about him, be his friend. <laughs> in due time. In due time. So oh, it's allowed, right? Mm. Is this like a Kurama situation? Where it's allowed long-term? I uh, slowly gain the powers? Yeah, that, that's the vibe I okay. was going for. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, um... You wanna give me an answer before that sword, like, kills you? Henry Don't walks up, up to Diablo. Look at Yashua. It needs to be done. And he hands out his hand. Diablo, let's be friends. And he just starts laughing. Henry. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? He's just well, like me. <laughs> uh and I look at Yashua. Diablos <laughs> now comes into full physical view for you in your mind of what you can see. And Yashua too also sees this. And this is the image that has been constantly plaguing you all every time you happen to look at him. And once he fully comes into view, you realize just how large he actually is with his red skin and red skin with black tinted highlights, so to say. His clawed fingers and clawed feet. And he looks like something you would absolutely not want to be your enemy. But, Henry screams to him, Shrink down, you're too big! <sighs> I can see where this is going to go. God damn loser. Fine, I guess I'll make myself smaller. Turns into a little chibi Diablos. Henry tries to run up and hug him and just fall phases through him and falls down. Yeah, 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 yeah. No touching. Not yet. <laughs> So, we're good, right? You give me a good time. I hope you kill shit. You both cause yes. a little bit of chaos. Yeah. Just one more question. What is this book? <laughs> what? The book on my left side. Where the fuck did you get that? That's my book. Give me that back. He snatches it off your leg. <laughs> I don't Does know. Does the book... Does the book disappear in, like, in front of Perry and Drava when he snatches it? Yes. So, I have no idea how you got this. But, oh, before I forget. He 
<clears throat> he snaps his fingers, and on the outside, the wide display of lightning and other chaotic energies uh, comes to a stop. And while the surrounding area is still pretty fucked up as a result, uh, the sword stops reacting, and its glow finally calms down and appears to be normal, so to say. Now, uh, as for my book, I'll tell you that thanks for delivering but not delivering, but also delivering it to me at the same time, uh, this is a, uh, what's called a cursed artifact outside of my hands, or my vessel, so to say. So, to everyone else, but you and I, uh, it's cursed. They should not touch it. But, you can use it whenever you want. And it has, uh... Well, you've already felt its magical properties. I'll let you find out the rest. And over time, I will let you read it. Yeah. Now, uh, your friend here. What, uh, what's, what, what's going on with this? Because I stopped the, the sword mess outside, but you're still here in his head. Don't mind me. I'll just see my way out <laughs> as I, I don't know. Like, I just want to imagine that meme where it, it, it's some dude walking out of a portal and it says, adios. That works. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just pull the sword out of the ground uh, and I'm still holding on to it at a monstrous grip. So, once you do that, uh, you look at Henry, and physically, seemingly, nothing has changed, except for, and this is only visible to Yashua and Henry at the moment, but that bleeding eye curse mark that was on Henry's head has now receded into a purple diamond with tribal-like markings ever so barely stretching out of it. And you can occasionally see a small flicker of Diablos uh, sitting, or not sitting, standing on Henry's shoulder. Oh wait, what is he? Say that again? I, I missed the first task. Somebody came in my room. Oh. So he, he's tiny and what? He's sitting on your shoulder. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he's, a, he's standing on your shoulder. Only, again, only Henry and Yashua can see this. And that curse mark on your forehead, and it changed from a bleeding eye to a purple diamond with tribal markings just so slightly coming out of it. It's like a diamond with spikes, basically. Hmm. Henry starts touching his forehead. Yashua puts the sword on his shoulder and just looks at Henry and says, huh. Looks like out of all this, we got a plus one. And I say this out loud so the rest of the party could hear us. Uh, plus who? What do you mean plus one? What? Henry whispers to Diablo. He used some demon magic to surprise them. Uh, what, who, and why? It, it'll be funny, don't worry. Uh, I don't feel like it. Maybe later. Uh, who are you talking to? He's talking to Diablos. They formed a contract and now he's no longer going to die or get possessed. Uh, friends, Does this yeah. mean he's touchable now? 
Well, consider him a new friend for now. Henry whispers, am I allowed to touch people again? <laughs> you were always allowed to touch people. What are you talking about? Uh, they kind of melted the I... last time. Huh? Yashua sighs, but when he sighs, he you see like vents coming out of his chest. He just vents when he sighs. Uh, you want to explain what you meant by people melted? Uh, I touched the parasite. He melted into green glue. <laughs> okay, that was a parasite. That wasn't a person, though. Parasites Henry, aren't people. Henry slowly moves over to the hostage. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> the tap touches the hostage. Were you are you expecting me to do something? Like what's going on here? Poor hostage is like scared out of her fucking mind. She went through all this shit. <laughs> uh Vessel, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, bye. Henry's like, mm. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, Yashua says as he, you know, he's tapping his shoulder with the massive sword. We should most likely head back to Francesca and the others. Oh, uh, they're supposed to be arriving. I don't know when. They said soon. Henry goes to pick up his sword again. I have the sword, mind you, and I'm and 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 I'm not giving it to you. And he starts waving his hands. Give it back to me. So Yashua just kicks him down. You're a mecha now. What? So you're a mecha. You have a de a demon now, what? and or you did or you don't, and you're touchable now. I don't know what's I don't know what's happening anymore. Yashua looks at Perry, tapping the sword on his shoulders. I am not. A mecca. You're definitely not not a mecca. I am bio organic, not fully mechanical. She's just gonna kind of like lean over to Draven and say he's a mecca. And he goes <laughs> up to Yasha's foot and starts melting a little hole in his foot. <laughs> you can't damage me. You know that in this form. Not damaging you, I'm trying to hurt you. <laughs> but it's not going to work. I'm just going to kick you aside, like, you, you know, kick a small animal out of your way. Uh, how long is that going to last? You know, your whole that. As long as I'm not in combat mode, I could keep it on as long as I want. Though I will start depleting energy as, as soon as I activate assault mode. Can I ride you? Yasha just stops tapping the sword on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> <That's, laughs> Draven just starts fucking laughing. <laughs> Henry teleports and quickly grabs the sword back and puts it on his back. Ah, oh, better. Harry's like fingers are like wiggling uh, and like coming roll closer. Slide a hand for that, please. I will. I will slide a hand that. Let's see if I fail it. What do I have to roll for that, Riku, to counter that? Dexterity save. I'm just gonna, like, whip him with the hilt of the frickin' sword. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, uh, you're not getting your sword back right now, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna bonk you within the head. Right. How tall is your mecha? Very tall. Oh, yeah, Three meters, Harry, 10 Harry's feet. Harry's definitely trying to, like, climb on top right now. I momentarily, you know, dematerialize the sword and add it to my inventory. Don't, don't worry, I'll give it back to you, Chris. Just, I have it for now. Henry's just thinking of ways to destroy Yasha right now. Damn. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, one day I'll defeat you. So one one day I will delete you. With all that having taken place, 
uh, you hear what sounds like a vehicle coming your way, but you instead hear it from above, and in it, you can see a familiar face by Cynthia driving an airship at an incredibly dangerous and reckless speed, and she wastes no time telling uh, Dreva, Henry, and Perry to get in, and Yashua to follow, as you are obviously too fucking big for a small airship. Don't worry, I'll skateboard on top of it. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, once you all are inside, she explains to you that she was monitoring all of your progress, but once you made it to Sector 5 and engaged in combat, you suddenly communication was lost, and that was thanks to the EMP. Yashua yeah, whistles. But she then explains that by the time that it should have worn off, she still couldn't reclaim contact with you all. And that was when things in the city began to get progressively worse and worse and worse. As with you all flying back to base, you can see that many, many different areas and sections of the city have been utterly destroyed. And there's fighting everywhere, there's screaming everywhere, and it looks like that the city and all sides of opposition is engaged in war, more or less. And then she explains that with the week's worth of time that has gone by, Zero, both Zero and herself have gotten incredibly injured, almost died, and contact has been lost with Francesca as of two days ago. Additionally, however, the base of the cult has been finally discovered thanks to endless, and I mean endless, examination of the portals that were left behind on about two missions ago. But the situation is still, it's not as bad as it could be, but it's still pretty bleeding bad. And once you get inside, she explains to you all that unfortunately, and she's not going to fault you for this, there are two options you can take. You can, if you want, take the fight straight to the source of all this chaos going on, or due to the exhaustion and your injuries that you have occurred, if you wish to leave, and by leave I mean leave a city and let them handle it, you can, as things have gotten far, far beyond everyone's control at this point. Hmm. Let's stay. I'm gonna say this in my Eidolon form, you know, walk up to them and say, I'm going to finish what we started. I'm going straight to their HQ. Dreva, she is going to speak up and say, it's been an experience being here for the time that I spent. And I don't 
necessarily feel comfortable just leaving you all to fend for yourselves. And, well, regardless of events and whatnot, I think we kind of owe it, not necessarily to the people here, but to you guys and Angela, because, well, she sent us here to help out. Henry just says, I need more magic spells. That's the only reason I'm here. And we need a friend, Frenchie. Well, I mean, I, I lived here, so I don't really have much of a choice. Plus, they have the alcohol, so I'll stick with them. I have the alcohol. <laughs> All right. Well, based off that, I'm not going to argue with you, but Zeril, he... <sighs> Let's just say that his emotions are out of whack because we're after the second day of no contact from you guys. Um, he... For lack of a better phrasing, uh, lost his mind. And it took a lot to pull him out of the state that he was in so that he could, you know, continue acting as commander in this operation. Since, well, he, he thought you all died. Uh, question, Riku. Where is, uh, Zero at the moment? Like, is he right in front of us here, or is he, like, somewhere else? Uh, he is in front of you, but his back is turned as he is focused on a terminal with a, uh, headset device on. He doesn't even know you're in the building. Well, right, me... he doesn't know you're in the building, but after Cynthia made contact with you all earlier, he knows you're alive. I want to talk to the masked demon. I'm going to walk beside him. Keep in mind, I'm still in my idol on for him, too, and just see, just look at what he's doing. Just see what I could learn to help. You walk over to him, and it takes him a, a bit of time to notice you, but when he finally looks up at you, he lets a singular tear fall down from his face, and he mutters to himself, we actually have a fighting chance again. Yashua pats him on the back, but you know his he, he's in his idol on form, so it might feel a little rough. <laughs> you, you use your fucking pinky finger to pat him on the back. No, 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 like uh, you know, like those uh big bulky uh anime characters that you know pat the main character in the back and it just shakes them a bit oh yeah yeah so i pat him in the back lightly but it kind of like recoils him forward a little bit and and i tell him you always had a fighting chance i'm going to switch things to henry and zen Zen's gonna look at you and say, well, damn, I, I thought you were dead. Can't get rid of me that easily. Yeah, I've come to realize that. <laughs> he sounds oh. so disappointed. <laughs> oh yeah, and I made friends with Diablo. You did what? <laughs> uh, Diablo, can you come out? What do you want? Uh, this is my first demon friend, then. Oh, shit. I know his kind. Yeah, I have to help him. With what? 
You remember how his kind is cursed and they can't have children? Oh yeah, that weird generational mumbo jumbo bullshit. Yeah, I need to get rid of that curse. Okay. Uh, what's your mortal currency called? Money. Gil. No shit, it's called money. What is it actually called? Gil. Give me some of that. How much? I hand him a bag of like a hundred gil. I love it. This is a lot in our our world. Yeah, fuck off. Give me more. I give him a thousand. Here, fine. All right, this will be enough. Oh, let's see. Where's that fucking page at? Uh, oh, here it is. He rips a page out of his book and on the outside world you're you're there you're there talking to the apple but mask is looking at you like what the fuck are you what the hell are you doing and before long that page that he ripped out of his book in your mind materializes in your hand I tell Zen this is for your generational curse yeah um so like I said I know it's kind I know it's weird stupid generational bullshit he can blame his fucking ancestors for that uh tell him that in about 8 hours he needs to eat that piece of paper Diablo says you have to eat this paper in 8 hours so you can have kids the fuck is Henry's it, Viagra? Henry's just smiling at Zen, like, I'm not bullshitting you. This is the annoying part about inhabiting someone's body after see their own bullshit. Uh, additionally, Shh, tell him that once he does that, he should spiritually. <laughs> Demons having spirits, that's funny. He should spiritually feel his curse being removed from him. Harry just tells Diablo, why don't you just say it? No. Uh... Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> out in the open? Basically. <laughs> Is that Basically, all you wanted from me? Spiritually, you should feel weird. <laughs> like, Is that all you wanted? Can I... No, I... no, one more thing. What? How do I summon a demon? I need to get his wife here. Uh. Excuse me? I want to summon a demon. Oh, well, you want proof that it worked? <laughs> okay. No, repeat repeat the second wanted... part. How do I summon a demon? No, 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 no after that. Here. Now, you fucker, why are you trying to summon a demon? I want his wife here. Are you some kind of fucking homewrecker? No, he has a contract with me and he'll teach me illusion magic after. So, our contract was make him fertile again and get his wife here, or make him die and go back, which I don't want. I want him here still. Plus, it gives us another minion. <sighs> Do you know what his wife looks like? No, but I could ask him. Ask. Zen, how does your wife look like? So I could try to summon her here with you. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? She looks similar to me. Uh, she is a, well, clothing-wise, similar to me. Uh, she is an ice-born succubus with her left horn in a strange square-like shape. And then her right horn is the polar opposite color of her body. 
and it is in the shape of a trident. Oh. Did you catch that, Diablo? I'm pretty sure you could hear it through my ears. Yeah, 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 shut up, I'm looking for her. <laughs> One thing, I want her to be our ally and won't betray us. You like your fun, don't you? Um. So, I ain't got shit to do with that. That's a conversation between her and him. Uh, stop talking to me. I'm using a search magic. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like that type of dangerous spell that if I fuck up, it fucks up. <laughs> that reminds me of Far From Home. Or No Way Home. Fix all our problems in this room. <laughs> After about 20 minutes of pure silence from Diablos and Zen asking you every question on the planet about what the hell you did. Uh, you hear a, a loud, thunderous clap in your head. And then, to your left, you see a magic circle begin to form by your feet. And before long, Zen's wife just pops right into existence in this plane of existence Oof. Zen takes one look at you he looks at her he hands you a scroll and then he proceeds to explain everything that's happening to her on the far side of the base. And you have successfully completed two side quests at the same time. Now I have one other one. Miss Chamber Girl. Yeah? I wanna see if Diablo could explain what's going on with her. I know, Diablo, I'm bothering you too much, but I need to get these things fixed. That we Fucking tell up. me about it. God damn. You know, you know the last time I had someone as talkative as you? That was 12,000 years ago. Did you enjoy his company? No. Which is of mine? Oh. <laughs> damn, you talk so much. Anyway, what do you... What, 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 what's, what's wrong with her? What, what the fuck? What's going on? She had a cursed blade... And then I touched her, and she got double curse negative. I don't know. I did something. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, you I, remember. I remember that, and I'm not going to say my bad, but it is my fault. I know. You enjoyed yourself. Can we just fix her? Uh... No, we can't, because I can't. Okay. So, when two vessels that are, that are being inhabited by demonic energy is come into contact with each other, whoever has the lesser mental fortitude eats shit. And oh. that's what she's doing. She is eating shit. But and she has a weaker demon inside her. Uh, about that. Mm -hmm. Did you eat shit too? No, it's not that she has a weaker demon. Her mental tenacity is way weaker than yours. So would it be better to put her out of her misery? Uh, I would heavily advise against doing that. Because... Unlike me, she's actually possessed by some shit that if she is killed, what's inside of her is going to come out and, uh, <laughs> uh this bitch I is gone. This whole fucking city is gone, bro. 
So, basically, we could use her as a weapon, you're telling me. Uh, not so much a weapon, but more of a... And you're probably not going to like this, but I don't care. Uh, not so much as a weapon, but a sacrifice. Because if you take her and the spirit within her back to whence it came, uh, it would be dispelled. I mean, she's going to die, but the bigger problem is also going to be gone. I think that's the better option to dispel this. Oi, I've... I've... I've got a question for your your little friend in your head, you know? I know he can't respond, but maybe you could tell me what he says, you know? He runs over to Perry. So, so... What happens if you want, like, you know, like, a, like alone time? You know what I mean? Like, with a woman, or even with yourself? Like, is he gonna be uh, there? Like, uh, all, the, all the time? Is there a way yeah. to, like, turn him off, you know? I think he gets turned on by that. No, not that's not right, what I yeah, meant. <laughs> you sick bastard! Why would like, I look at that? So you just does he close his eyes and like plug his ears, you know, or is he just is he there all the time? Tell her that I go to a far off corner of your mind where I don't have to look at that. He says he hides in the darkest corners of my mind, but those are also mm. very, very not safe. But he's, he's always there. Yeah, he's always there. I'm here when oh, I want to be. He's part of me now. He's my oh. best friend. I guess some girls could be into it. Did you say best friend? You... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, some girls are into it. Tentacles and all, right? Yeah. I am going to restrict your speaking ability. Can I hear this conversation from where I'm at? Uh, for you, you he have... can't, but Drapa can. <laughs> like the the outside conversation or the internal conversation? Yes, both. Uh, you can hear the outside conversation. You'd have to get closer to hear the internal conversation, since mm -hmm. now that you have seen and spoken with Diablos, you can hear him but you can't hear him from a distance. Of course, okay. So yeah, Yashua is uh, listening in, but just pays no mind to the outside conversation. And you just see him, like, standing there, and you see, like, this huge holographic projection in front of him, and it's just a bunch of some schematics that he's going through. Some ideas that he wants to give to Zero later on. Henry talks to Rosaria, and says it I think we should just dispel that thing keeping her alive she, it's inhumane Diablo said she can't be saved wait 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 wait, wait. I, I I understand what you just said but oh yeah I forgot did, 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 Diablo's did, my friend now you she very slowly pulls out a knife from her pocket what did you say uh, me and Diablo are now connected forever I I sincerely hope you're lying nope fully making my way over I put my hand on her shoulder and I say, yep, it's true. Believe it or not, Diablos is not the kind of demon we all thought he was. And <clears throat> within seconds, you hear Diablo uh, screaming at Henry, tell her and the rest of her people to stop getting me confused with my brother. Henry says to Rosaria, uh, you know about chaos? Yes. That's not Diablo. That's his brother. Excuse? He has a brother? Yeah, you guys and your kind, he said, keeps mixing them up. Oh. Oh, no. 
and she she drops to her knees she drops her knife and she brings her hands to her head and Henry has the spectral little form of mana allow Diablo to come out and speak like a little spirit form of him uh, at the cost of 500 MP you can I could just man charge that back anyways so, <laughs> I like the way you think because we're in a non-combatant area so yep 500 mana and then I just mana charge it all back so a little tiny form of Diablo comes out and starts talking to Rosaria here he is one second <laughs> my best friend that's a little too big that's not <laughs> tiny <laughs> <I'm fucked up. laughs> hey you you with the horns you and your kind need to cut it out i'm not the one you should be worrying about you need to be worrying about the one you just oh so willingly forget and disregard from history And do you think you want to drop the act? Because you know, you knew the difference all this time. Based off the, uh, <laughs> the markings on you. You knew the difference, but you didn't say a goddamn thing. Henry shuts off the mana connection and just returns Diablo. You're being too mean. <laughs> Perry's gonna lean over to Drava and just whisper, the Amlos is pretty hot. And Drava, she responds and shocks me. Is that what you're into? Eh. She's just gonna keep drinking, you know, out of her flask that she's just helped herself to refilling with the barrels and barrels of alcohol. You can't just, uh, wait a minute. You can't just disregard it. You're already hammering them down. Never mind. Henry whispers to Diablo, You got a fan already. <laughs> I revert back into my human form. Like, you hear, like, uh, all of you hear a beeping noise. So Henry grabs Rosaria's hand and brings her back to her feet. See? Not cursed anymore. Okay, like I was saying, as I turn back, the sword is also, you know, returns to the floor, and I just, you know, pick it up and give it back to Henry. Henry quickly snatches it out of his hands, like, are you not hurt? Like, no. scared that you got hurt or something from it? No. More than anything, it was charging my cannons. Henry thinks, hey, Zeril, can I get a sheath made out of the, uh, what was it called? Your kind. The Eidolon fragment? I Eidolon sheath for the sword. I, I haven't had the time to study this thing yet, but once all this shit is done over with, I can figure something out. Okay, thank you. I put my hands up and I'm like, whoa, whoa, L Henry, listen here. That material does not exist here. Yeah. I'm going to have to donate a lot of pieces for, no, I'm not giving you my shrapnel. I need some of that shrapnel. No. Henry starts whacking the sword on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so with the moment of respite that... You all are taking full advantage of before you have to go back out into the fray and hopefully bring all this to an end. You get a very strange sensation as you feel a, a wave of death and despair wash over you for a quick second. And after you help Rosalia stand to her feet, she folds her arms and she just 
ponders about all the events that have happened. And as she is in this pondering state, she just walks around the place, just recollecting everything that has happened so far. And she stops in front of Yuza's detainment field. And she looks sorrowful, as if she genuinely feels bad for her. And the events that led up to this place in her life. And the circumstance that she's in now. And I'm going to ask all of you to please roll perception. Okay. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to roll it twice. Okay, I didn't roll a fucking one this time. Bet. I did roll a 13, <laughs> though, so I, I lost to all of you. <laughs> so. You hear Rosalia say... Barely above a whisper. I will now take you out of your misery. I will relieve myself of my own misery. Oh no. As you are rushing over, you see Rosalia with the same knife that she had earlier engulf it in flame and she pierces through the containment field, stabs Yuza in the heart, and then seconds later, stabs herself in the heart. Whoa, 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 what? No, 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 no. I haven't learned the force yet. <laughs> and when you all take note of this and see this happen, you feel as if the space around you grinded to a halt as you are unable to process the sight before you. And before you can do or say anything at all, Zero turns around, he throws something in the general direction. But the closer it gets, it disintegrates, and a mass of fire and such begin to engulf the two women. And once that fire dissipates, an entirely different being is in their place. Well, I, I thank you for not only taking care of my problems for me, but also reuniting me with my lost power. Additionally, I also want to thank you for keeping what you could keep safe, safe. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to do what I should have done before I split up. This plan doesn't necessarily involve you, so... If you wish, we don't have to fight. But 
in the instance that you do decide to fight me, it's not going to end well for either of us. Henry runs up to them and says, can we be friends? I can't. I can't. Away from me. I call up for Diablo to take control. In this instance, you may yeah. not. No! <laughs> I walk up to said individual, who or what are you? And what happened to the other two? Let me guess. Sacrificial summoning. My name is Osiris. I am being that this pathetic excuse of a cult has been harvesting souls for to resurrect to act out the will of their god which god is that someone that I serve that you will likely never meet because yeah. I am going to raise this place to the ground and with the snap of her fingers she vanishes from your sight you see blue wisps dance across the air and dive into <clears throat> the portal opposite of the room from you all and the building you that you are in is beginning to collapse Henry calls out to Zen and his wife to come quickly towards him it shout at the top of my lungs to let everyone in the room know that we have to get out now evacuate I just care about my three demon buddies to come with me quick uh, Zen and his wife hear you but when they run through the place uh, the debris that is coming down is engulfed in black flame and it is impeding their process can I shoot the debris before it hits the ground? Uh, you can at the risk of spreading the flames around. Uh, Damn. Henry quickly uses teleport twice to grab both of them. And back. Can we use teleport like that? Nope. Can't. That only works with areas, not people. Okay, so I grab teleport to them and ask Diablo for help immediately. I'm not no, like you team. can't teleport at all. No, I can't teleport with people. I can teleport myself. So I can teleport to them, but I can't teleport with them out. What do you want? Oh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, this isn't good. Keep my demon buddies safe. There are minions. Um, I don't think you understand how minions work, but this isn't the time and place for me to be giving you a lecture. I know that. Help us out here. How? Because I'm not going to do everything for you. I know. Just this one time, please. I know I ask a lot. Okay. Make They're it... your kind. Remember that. Not necessarily my kind. I just know of them. Uh, don't let that fire touch them. Or you, for that matter. Your friends, I think they'll be okay, though. Okay. Real quick, before well, anything. Uh... Can ice magic be used to stop the ceiling from collapsing on top of everyone? Ice magic? Yeah, like you could freeze the the entire ceiling to prevent debris from falling. 
Uh, you're gonna need some pretty sick, nasty rolls for that, but I'm willing to allow it. Well, yeah, I can do it. I'm gonna ask Draba. I don't have ice magic. Okay, me and Draba team attack from my location and her location. To engulf everything in ice. Mm. Plus, I have the ice demon next to me, too. His wife. Isn't she? We have uh... three ice users. Okay. I can I can see this working. Yeah. I knew I summoned it. her for a good reason. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. What's her name by the way? I never got that. <laughs> her name? Yeah. Uh, her name is Cryo. Cryo? I just scream out Cryo. Dreva, help with the ice. Uh so what do we roll? Uh, you will roll your blizzard, I will roll Drava's blizzard, and then I will roll Drava's blizzard again, but with advantage. casting blizzard on the ceiling right yeah okay uh you managed to patch up some not all of the holes forming in the ceiling but there are still pieces of debris and black flame falling around the place additionally uh, the floor itself is now beginning to tear open in many, many different places. Uh, who else is stuck in the building? Uh, so far, all, I'm not gonna say, most of the soldiers and such working under Zeril have made it out. Uh, Zeril and Cynthia are still inside. Uh, Raphael is trailing behind uh, Zen and his wife, and the only things that are left in here are the portals. I think Raphael is going to die. It's okay. All right gonna make my way over to Cynthia and Zero and help them get through. I got Zen and his wife. Raphael might die from this incursion, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna take Zen and his wife out. If anything, he dies, I could resummon him with Diablo if he helps me out. But I don't think for a while. Uh, Dreva is going to I uh, use every spell that she has in order to contain all of the black flames that are occurring all over the place. Uh, Perry, what is it that you wish to do, if anything at all? Uh, she's going to stay right next to Drava and just make sure nothing like falls on her or hurts her while she's casting stuff. Okay. Uh, I only care about Zen and his wife. Yashua, you said you're helping uh, Zeril and Cynthia? Yep. I'm going to escort them and use my body as a shield if I have to. Since I'm tanky enough to do that. Alright. Uh, as you do that, Zeril says to you, Listen. This is probably a big mistake, but once you get us out of here, you need to go chase that bitch down and destroy her. But, but, but I don't know if you'll be able to get back. Because with the place falling apart, what if it takes the portal with it? What if you can't come back? Don't worry about me. I'll deal with it. And once, once you say that, you hear an explosion take place outside of the building. As the destruction 
has seemingly left this. It's still here in full force, but it is beginning to spread outwards from this place as the shrieks and screaming have grown exponentially worse. You might as well be outside. So it's getting worse outside, but has it calmed down in here? Yes. Uh, can we stabilize the building in any other way with earth magic? No. No. Okay. Now we're evacuating. Let's get out of here quick. I need you to, uh, Nyashua, I need you to roll survival. Oh no. I just flat out die. Well. You notice a large steel beam coming down that if no actions are taken, it is going to hit and crush the three of you. Okay, so I'm going to activate my flight unit. Grab these two. Have, like, have them <clears throat> just carry both of them on... One side of my arm and the other one on the other. And just go full throttle out the exit. Okay. Uh, I will say that as you do this, both Perry and Drava are in your immediate direction. As as before you before you also before you do that action, Drava won't speak up. Guys, I'm running real low here. I can't keep this up forever. She's still using the ice magic too, right? She's using every spell she has to contain okay. as much damage as possible in conjunction with containing the fire. If the eggs is too far oh. away, you gotta make your own. Oh. Ask Raphael for help, Rick. Just go through that way. I was just gonna blow a hole in the ceiling and just fly through it. You could. But do we really want Raphael to die? He's, he's, he's the funny demon. He's not gonna die, he's tanky enough to hit to take up yeah, falling that's the building. Part. Even if he stays inside the building, I think he'll survive because our fight nothing did shit to him damage wise. I just don't know about the fire touching him. That's what I'm worried about. That like, we, we can worry about. We can worry about that later. Anyways, I'm gonna blow a hole in the roof and flay these two out. Okay. Please roll a one d twenty five. If you get a one, I'm. <clears throat> wow. Wow. All right, you spot a an ideal area in the ceiling. You blow it open without hastening the collapsing of the rest of the ceiling, and you get them out of there. But as you are in the air, the sight that you see before you is just about the entire city on fire well well i see the entire city i mutter to myself and these two could hear it war war never changes how dare you <laughs> all right Alright, uh... So, Drava noticed that Yashua got those three out of there. No, those three Yashua included out of there. Uh, she also notices that Henry has just about made it out of the area. She looks over to Perry and she says, Get out of here. Go. I'll, I'll be right behind you. 
but once you once you say that, I mean once she says that, once she finishes her sentence, you can see um, magical dusting come out of her as she is almost completely out of mana to sustain this process, and you don't entirely believe her on that. Um, am I able to teleport with people? Mm, that is not how the teleport spell works. My my shikuchi thing. Oh, that teleport? Way. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the the teleport you get when you you know start your character. Oh no 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 my 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 little ninja thief one. Maybe yeah. this is my nocta skill. Um, in that case, can I just grab onto her and just start teleporting away with her? Uh, you can do that with Sakuchi, or because of your uh, Noctis traits. You know how when you throw your weapon, you can just warp right to your weapon? Mm hmm. That doesn't necessarily have to be a combat only thing. You attach them to the weapon and throw them and warp to the weapon. <laughs> just stab her in the chest with my weapon. And no, God, no. <laughs> it's, I'm joking. It's just throw like... the weapon out the window. <laughs> Um, but, so wait, can I take her with me, though, if I do that? Mm-hmm. Oh, in that case, yeah, I'm gonna just throw... Throw it to me. Uh, I'm all at right. the entrance. Just I will throw, throw him me. my dagger. Hopefully he catches it. <laughs> Lighter hand, let's go! <laughs> if I miss, you're just going outside, so... Apparently. <laughs> or hitting and, me yeah. in the face. I will grab onto her, hold on to her tight, and teleport us uh, to my weapon. Let's see what Riku gets. The fun one. Here it is. <laughs> You're gonna go to catch it. It's just gonna stab right through your hand. <laughs> I keep rolling ones today, bro. Oh my gosh. Your luck is mine. Man. <laughs> I catch the dagger and I keep running with Cryo and Zen out the door and it's up to Perry. Right. Do your thing, Perry. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna freaking like anchor drop my weapon and just teleport us. Does that mean they fall onto my hand? Yes. I'm holding it. <laughs> Perry, let go of the dagger. It's one of those action scenes that we all just like crumple out the front entrance of the door while it breaks. <laughs> yes. All right, and shortly after that, once the lot of you are out of the building, uh, you can see Raphael just barely making it out. But as he as he leaves, uh, pretty much the latter half of the building almost falls on his head, and he just barely makes it out. Henry runs up to him, crying like. Scared that he wasn't going to make it. And once all of the dust and such settles, uh, you can just barely make out that all, all of the the main three portals are gone, but in the remainder of the debris, there is a different one in its place. And Is that the portal that Zero told me to go in and chase after Osiris? Uh, that is, this is a completely different portal. You have no idea where it leads, but via assumption, that's what you think. Portal! <laughs> He looks at the portal over Raphael's like by assumption. Arc. I just fly through it. You just, you're 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 dropping off your other two. You're just booking it through. Yeah. Henry right. says, "You two stay safe. Uh, you three stay safe." And he rushes in with Yashua. 
All right. Nobody goes in alone. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we learned this lesson, right, Yasha? <laughs> yep. Uh, Perry's gonna look at Drava and just be like, uh, Can Henry cloak himself in Diablo's, like, energy to go through this portal? Just after he's learned his first lesson of portals and jumping into them? I mean... We don't have to. We can't if we want hey, to. I'm doing it. I'm still doing it. Alright. Uh, in response, Drava looks at Perry and she doesn't necessarily say anything but she looks at her she summons her inventory bag she takes the largest ether she has out of it uh has this very strong look of determination on her face and she like chugs and walks through the portal at the same time as her answer. Perry's just gonna grab her flask and just walk through. Alright. So. Oh, no. I will now say that... Hang on, one moment. This is a very pivotal point. Coming up. Uh, just, uh, just be prepared. As I stop this, I uh, also, uh, f before I continue, flawlessly uh, completed the escape and evacuation sequence, and you will awesome. you will receive the appropriate reward at a later date and time means next week <laughs> mm, we'll have a off session discussion uh, off recording discussion about that okay. right. sounds good so you all make your way through and within seconds you find yourself at an altar and oh I thought that was I thought that was us right there <laughs> no Though those are uh, still freshly dead bodies, I will say that though. <laughs> and you we come out of the portal. Yep, from here. And you see Osiris standing at the very top of this altar, and she looks behind her sees you all and in response he says why is it that you have decided to choose death it won't let me get my head caught I gave you plenty an opportunity to turn and leave For what reason do you stand in my way? I just don't like you. You are a threat that needs to be neutralized. Nothing personal, of course. Oh, it's personal. I I'm the threat? Me, the entity trying to rid this place of the burden of having to live their lives with the inevitability that something of genuine vile creation is going to one day kill them I'm I'm the enemy is what you're saying indeed don't you think your methods are very uh insensitive see you could have just started started out with, I am here to stop a creature that shouldn't exist. If you'd like, you can help. But instead, you decide to collapse an entire building and get civilians and allies killed. You're not making any friends here. 
he said he didn't want to be my friend, so I have to kill him. I am a woman, first of all. Second, I am that being that can either tip the scales towards law, chaos, or death. I prefer not to let all of these unfortunate, cursed by faith souls willingly or unknowingly live their lives with the knowledge that I am burdened with that they are going to die not by their own means. Therefore, I took it upon myself to not only sow the proper seeds that need to take place in order to begin the foundational process of harvesting souls so that way when their time comes or they are persuaded so to say that instead of them going into the netherworld they will instead fuse with me and by doing so I, I will be, be the one, one to lead, lead them, them to, to everlasting, everlasting salvation. Unfortunately, the only cost is to reset everything and strip them of the burden of free will. Because it is the avarice, and then the disgust, and then the greed, and the lust, and then the sins of life itself being the reason that the devourer exists. Well, that's where we're here. You see, you don't have to get rid of the Devourer at the same time, destroying all what life is. Life will be meaningless without these emotions, these negatives and positives. You're no different from the Devourer in that case, and you have to be destroyed. Henry gets bored of this whole conversation and starts reading the scroll that <laughs> Zenon gave him. <laughs> You truly, genuinely believe that? You I just raised my gun at her. He and I are one and the same. Truly. One devours universes and the other one devours all life. There's no difference there. You and I disagree. And because there seems to be no common ground, so to say, about an agreement in our methods, one of us is going to die. And by the might of my very creation, I will strike you down in the name of salvation and my master who would have been here on this day. I order you all by my own might to perish. I refuse. Oh, where's Perry? Oh, oh shit. <laughs>
Harry's treasure chest comes I'm flying out of the <laughs> What did I miss, guys? <laughs> Alright. I like the soundtrack. Damn right. And once Osiris finishes her little speech and makes her declaration that she, by her own might, is going to strike you down. That knife that she had earlier, she breaks the altar that she is standing on. And the energy is coming forth from it, she absorbs into her own body. And the next thing you see is her exploding into a violent array of flames before they all coalesce and reshape itself. I know what I'm going to trim its tail. <laughs> I caught dibs on the feathers. We need those phoenix but downs. Why? <laughs> Can Perry steal the feathers from us? <laughs> oh my god. That discussion will be had at a later date and time. <laughs> <laughs> but the last thing you hear through all of the flames coming forth in your direction is on this day, I will not be the one to have the flames extinguished. And with that, session will end for today. Sad, I wanted a second boss fight. But I was not a good enough boss fight for you. <laughs> no, you were boring as shit. Get your fake sponsorships out now before I hit the stop recording button. Dollar shape fun. Uh... <laughs> Manscaping. Can I sponsor my own TikTok? No <laughs> yeah, if you want to. Sponsoring my own TikTok. Haha. <laughs> Zero. Wait. Sheep what's your TikTok? Oh, my VTuber TikTok? Oh, no. I'm not going to talk about that. Oh, no. In the recording. In the recording. In the recording. And I hit the stop recording button.